Hey folks, this is Kalani. There are quite a lot of undocumented changes for patch 915 that you'll most likely be interested in. There are also quite a few hotfixes that address some of the problems you've probably run into. And we have some news about patch 9.2 and when we might see it on the PTR. Let's kick things off with some very interesting patch 915 undocumented changes. The one that's going to affect most players is the removal of the Valor cap and the Conquest cap. Both of those currencies typically have a seasonal weekly cap that limits how much you can earn, but that has been removed for patch 915. There was actually a blue post explaining the change after the patch went live saying this removal is only for patch 915. Apparently it's good for everyone for the initial gearing options to be limited by the weekly cap, but now we're past that being useful. Personally, I don't think the weekly cap really lines up with the upgrade costs right now and I would rather Valor not be as restricted, but I guess the dev team thinks it's working fine as it is. But anyway, you can farm as much Valor and Conquest as you want to in patch 915, but expect to see those caps return in patch 9.2. Over in Torghast, we can see another undocumented change. You can now find a box of many things in the entrance hall of Torghast, which means you don't have to go into the rune carver's room every time you want to check your talents or unlock a few extra goodies in the box of many things using your currency. That's going to save quite a bit of back and forth. Another cool little addition to the game can be found on the character select screen. You might remember from patch 9.1, I think it was supposed to be, that you were supposed to be able to see any characters that had unread mail. That obviously didn't work in 9.1 because we didn't have it, but I guess they managed to get it working for patch 9.15, so they quietly slid it into this patch instead. We also have some changes to the heirloom maps that have been available for a little while. There were two main ones, the Eastern Kingdoms map and the Kalimdor map, and they will unlock major flight paths in both of those continents, even if you've never traveled to them. Very useful for helping your alts get around in the early levels. Now the first change here is that they've been renamed to scouting maps, making them much easier to find in your toy collection. They will now also unlock all the flight paths for you instead of just select ones. They will also reveal and explore all areas relating to that continent so you'll get exploration credit and you can look at the maps properly and then they also added in a scouting map for every single continent in the game so there's a map for Outland, for Northrend, the Cataclysm Zones, Pandaria, Draenor, the Broken Isles, Kul'Turas and Zandalar and even one for Shadowlands. All of these new maps can be purchased from your respective heirloom vendor in Ironforge or Ogrimmar for 10,000 gold each. Quite pricey when you think about it but at least you only ever have to buy them all once. This last one is a bit different because it's a change that was removed from the game instead of added. Throughout the PTR cycle for 915, you're allowed to skip over any Covenant campaign storyline that you'd finished on another character. Right before the patch went live, this was very quietly changed. Now you can get some of the goodies that you would get from completing that campaign, so you can get the three soulbinds for your Covenant right away if you have completed those quests on another character, but you still have to go all the way through the actual campaign quest line now. You can't skip over it at all, they removed that as an option. That questline is required to collect various cosmetic rewards from the Covenant, and it's required if you want to progress past Chapter 3 of the Corthia campaign on those characters. So getting your alts caught up with everything is actually going to take a bit longer than we initially thought, and what the dev team initially promised for Patch 915. Personally, I think the Covenant campaign should be skippable after the first time you do it on any character on your account. Story content like that doesn't offer anything new, it doesn't really replay differently the second time or third time around, but this change makes me think that the dev team either doesn't agree with that, or they just want you to spend more time before your alts are caught up properly. Did you notice any of these undocumented changes, and which one surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below. As well as all of those undocumented changes for this patch, we also have quite a few hotfixes. I'm a little surprised at how quickly the dev team are addressing some of this patch's concerns and problems, for better or for worse in some cases. Let's go through some of the more important hotfixes real quick. If you're interested in leveling up some alts in this patch and you've been wanting to skip the more introduction scenario, the dev team just hotfixed the scenario skip to require level 50 up from level 48. That means if you want to skip the more, you'll need to make sure your alts are level 50 before you try going to Shadowlands. You can still actually head to Shadowlands at level 48 if you really want to, but you won't be given the option to skip the more. The reason for this change is apparently the quests after the more require level 49, so if you were able to skip at 48, you'd get stuck and have to make up the experience somewhere else. It doesn't change much in the grand scheme of things, but it's definitely something to be aware of. 
Then there are also plenty of spells, abilities and items that weren't resetting after wiping on a raid boss that have been fixed. These include Blessing of Sacrifice for Paladins, Die by the Sword for Warriors, Enraged Regeneration for Warriors, Flesh Craft for Necro Lords, Convoke the Spirits for Night Fae Druids, and several racial abilities with a cooldown of 2 minutes or longer. Several Shadowlands trinkets with a cooldown of 2 minutes or longer have also been fixed to properly reset, so hopefully that saves you some time in your raid progression. Having to wait for cooldowns to come back again after a wipe was always a major pain in the rear. And then the last hotfix is kind of hilarious, and I feel bad for anyone who might have had this happen to them. The Traveler's Anima Cache can no longer be consumed by players who have not yet selected a Covenant. I guess you could do this before, and the Anima would just disappear because you didn't have a Covenant for it to go into. So if you were using these on your alts before you even managed to pick a Covenant, I guess you wasted any of these that you used, which would be super unfortunate, so it's nice to know that that can't happen anymore. In other news, patch 9.2 might be arriving on the public test realm quite a bit earlier than many of us could have hoped for. The very first PTR build for the next patch was just pushed to the vendor distribution network. That means it's getting ready to be distributed to the launcher, so it's still currently encrypted and it cannot be accessed by the usual data mining means, so we don't have anything to preview or look at just yet, but we do know this typically signals that the PTR will start up within the next two weeks, but perhaps even sooner. When patch 9.1 was initially pushed to the vendor network on April 8th, it took less than a week for the build to get pushed to the PTR. That happened on April 13th, so just five days. So we could actually see the patch 9.2 PTR go up as early as next week, which is incredibly exciting. I truly do think that 9.2 is the most important patch that World of Warcraft has ever had, and it needs to be good. Like, really good. I'm not talking sorta alright kinda cool good, I'm talking not Knock your socks off, drop everything else you're playing, drag every player back kicking and screaming good, the kind of patch you absolutely don't want to miss. That kind of good. Anything less than that and I think we'll be riding out the rest of Shadowlands with a relatively low sub count, but only time will tell. We know next to nothing about patch 9.2 and what it could contain, so this PTR cycle is going to be one to keep an eye on. But that's all for this video. What do you think of those undocumented changes and the quick hotfixes coming through for patch 915? What are you most excited to learn about regarding patch 9.2? Leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. A big thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and to everyone who subscribed on Twitch. You can see their names floating by on screen. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always I will see you next time.